What's going on, Rant fans? It's your boy, Al Diggy here. Um, I'm about to talk a little bit today on this video about the state of the Buffalo Bills. Uh, it's it's just an end-of-the-season thing that I just want to kind of talk about and where I think the team's heading. Uh, as, as far as this point goes, uh, now that uh, we lost Brian Dayball, we might be losing Ken Dorsey, which I hope we don't. I'm kind of a little bit worried about the offense, not the, so the fact that Josh Allen isn't going to get his, you know. I think that what's what I'm more worried about is how is this offense going to evolve from this point on? I mean, depending on who we bring in, there's a lot of offensive coordinators that like to run the ball a lot. Buffalo's built to pass the ball first, run the ball second. Uh, you know, I, I don't know personally if I think that's a, a great strategy. Uh, I don't know if that it will all change, uh, you know, putting up, you know, I think, I think we average somewhere like 30 something points a game. I mean, that's pretty, pretty hard to, you know, keep up if you're running the ball as much. Uh, I do believe in balance on the offensive side of the ball. I do believe that. You do need some running the ball, uh, definitely, to keep defenses off balance. But my question is, will this new offensive coordinator that comes in understand, like, look, we need different concepts to get our guys in space like Dave Ball used to do. Uh, I hope that we retain Ken Dorsey, uh, our quarterback's coach. I hope that he, uh, you know decides to stay I mean it would make more sense for him to work with a quarterback as Josh Allen compared to Daniel Jones if he decided to go with Dayball I don't know uh if I'm ready to see him going that way uh you know I I would rather work with Allen than uh Daniel Jones nothing against Daniel Jones but Allen is more the superior quarterback uh so yeah so I'm hoping we get to retain Dorsey that'll be like amazing uh defensive side of the ball uh you know look number one defense all year we screwed up in the biggest part of the the, the year when we played like prevent prevent like i mean that was beyond prevent uh defense i you know i i think they screwed up that call big time and considering the fact that they were scared of the cheetah and they were scared of kelsey and they both got off even in that defense Kind of makes you wonder, like, okay, where do you have to go in the draft to to play better? Where do you where, to, against Kansas City? I mean, you gotta you gotta find speed. You gotta find speed everywhere um, on the defensive side of the ball. You need to do that. Uh, also, you know, as far as the defense, I need some more pass rush. I mean, we did okay this year. I like Gregory Rousseau, our, our rookie. I like. Uh, you know, I love me some Ed Oliver. I'm a big fan of Ed Oliver. I think Ed Oliver really, you know, he stepped his game up this year. I think Ed Oliver can really, uh, handle his business where he's at. I love Harrison Phillips is like, he, all of a sudden he came out of the woodwork playing great against the run, him and Ed together in the middle of that line. I love it. Uh, Trey White going down hurt us, but did it. I mean, I don't know if Trey White, if he was even in that Kansas City game, if that would have made a big difference anyway. I don't, I, I'm not sure. But I, I didn't see that much of a drop off once he, he, he was out. I mean, not taking nothing away from him because he's definitely better with you on the field. But Dane Jackson, Levi Wallace, you know, Levi gave up some things, but most of most, he was pretty good. Uh, Dane Jackson, I'm a big Dane Jackson fan. I, I like how Dane Jackson plays. I think he's physical. I think he gets after it. Um, you know, and Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer, the best safeties in the league. Uh, I'm not taking nothing away from those two. Those guys are like the best tandem in the NFL at this point. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the defensive side of the ball, I'm a little like, okay, we still got Leslie Frazier. I don't know if he's going to get a head coaching job or if he's not. So that's still to be determined. Uh, you know, so I mean, that's my my take here. I think I think Buffalo will be fine. I think there's no one in the in the division right now that really poses us a threat. Uh, New England, uh, I, you know, listen. 
you know, Mac Jones, yeah, he had an all right season. I mean, for a rookie, he did all right. Uh, is is he a threat? No. Uh, Zach Wilson, I love Zach Wilson from the Jets. I think he has the most upside of all the quarterbacks. Uh, physical, physical upside. And I think that uh, most of the, you know, in, in Tua, you know, I think, I think Tua... I I always I'm critical to him because he's not he he's not that big armed quarterback that you know and neither is is Jones so I guess it depends if you get the right coaching staff in there and the right offensive minded coaches in there that can can scheme up things to where they can get to a more production more production I love Brian Flores as their head coach over there. I don't know why they fired him. They just needed some new offensive coordinators, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, the Dolphins have a lot of talent over there. They do. Uh, Jane, you know, Waddle, he, he's a beast over there, you know. So I'm a little scared of what the Dolphins could do if they get some good coaching. Uh, not really scared of Tua. But, you know, you get the RPO game going. With him, and it, it it can it can cause some problems. Uh, New England, I think that uh, you know, give give Mac Jones some time. They have a nasty running game. I love Damian Harris. Uh, you know, I just think they need some weapons over there. Their offensive production is kind of eh, whatever. They're more about running the ball over there, which is fine. But as you see, when you're playing someone against like Allen or something, you go and score for score. You got to have that firepower. New England doesn't have that. Uh, they need to do a lot of things to get wide receiver. You know, get better wide receiver. So I mean, that's just my quick take here on the Buffalo Bills and a quick take on the AFC East. I think that uh, hey, right now it's Buffalo's division to lose. And I'm going to keep that real. I don't think it's even close. Uh, Buffalo has been 15 and three in the division in three years. Okay, let's let's put that in, in perspective for you. But yo, know, I'm Al Diggy. Please uh, subscribe. Uh, hit your notification bell because I do do live streams Friday nights. Talk all things NFL. Uh, I had to do I had to do a, a video about my squad. I had to do it. Uh, so let me know, drop your, you know, your comments, your likes, let me know how you feel about the AFC East and the Buffalo Bills this coming year. Now that day ball is gone. I'm Al Diggy. And again, please re uh, subscribe and please like, and I will catch you guys later. And, uh, let's go Buffalo.